Good evening, I'm Tanya Fletcher. We begin tonight in Hawaii where people experienced a terrifying moment when a notification suddenly popped up, popped up on cell phones simultaneously. The message was an alert warning people to take cover because a ballistic missile was heading their way. Emergency TV and radio broadcasts also warned everyone to head inside immediately. Our Anita Bath happened to be in Maui among thousands of Canadians vacationing on the islands. She recounts now the widespread panic that set in for nearly 40 minutes today. It was really quite chaotic for a short period of time. I was sitting on this beach right behind me here and just after 8 a.m. I received an alert saying ballistic missile inbound to Hawaii. This is not a drill. Take shelter immediately. Now I looked around and everyone was looking on their phones with confusion. Then the lifeguard began making announcements saying everyone needs to go inside and take shelter. Uh, the people started leaving immediately. You know I showed you the beach and there's lots of people on there now but at that point this beach was pretty much completely deserted as everyone listened to the orders that they had been given. Now the PGA Tours Sony Golf Tournament is happening in Honolulu. Several high profile golfers tweeted about how they took action immediately. John Peterson saying he hid under a mattress in a bathtub with his wife and kids. But here's the thing, the alert came in just after 8 a.m. and it wasn't until about 20 minutes later that Hawaii Emergency Management tweeted that it wasn't real. Unless you were following them on Twitter though, you wouldn't know. So for many people, it wasn't until 38 minutes after that initial notification came in that they got another notification saying that everything was false. So for many people here, still a lot of unanswered questions, wondering how something like this could actually happen. Now, a lot of people here on the island of Maui are Canadian visitors at where I'm staying at. It's about 90% Canadian. Many people very unaware that Hawaii has actually been preparing for something like this. But every time they've done it in the past, it has been very clear that it is a drill. Today, that was not the case and very unfortunate for a lot of people. Anita Bath, CBC News, Maui. So clearly a lot of questions on the heels of a very big mistake, mainly how did this happen? Well, turns out someone hit the wrong button. Yeah, the mishap took place during a shift change involving personnel at Hawaii's Emergency Management Agency. In a rather conciliatory press conference this afternoon, the state's governor was quick to say sto sorry, calling it a terrible mistake. You know, I know firsthand that what happened today was totally unacceptable and many in our community was deeply affected by this. And I'm sorry for that pain and confusion that anyone might have experienced. Now, state emergency officials did their best to assure tourists and residents of Hawaii that something like this will not happen again.